Hello viewers. First of all, I wish Happy New Year 2024 to all my viewers. Today's topic is urbanization and its effects on society. This is found in plus three past semester environmental studies and disaster management paper. But before I discuss urbanization and its effects on society, I want to inform my viewers that the name of my channel is at the rate Dilip Kumar Pal 9375. Where you will find more than 560 videos relating to plus to first political science to plus to secondary political science plus the first semester political honors to sixth semester political honors some videos of environmental studies political science general elective and ethics and values of plus three first semester some videos of ethics and values political science general elective of plus three second semester and some videos of ethics and values of plus three third semester i request my viewers to subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed and you are those your friends who are in above classes about this channel so some students will be benefited let us start urbanization and its effect on society in this video, we will take up, we will discuss two aspects of it. One is the meaning of urbanization and its effects, both negative and positive. <coughs> Let us start. What is urbanization? With the change of time, new concepts are coming up and taking the place of the prevailing concepts. With the change of time, <coughs> new concepts are coming up and these new concepts are taking the shape of the prevailing concepts. <coughs> it means with the change of time, new concepts are coming up and these new concepts are replacing the prevailing concepts. Urbanization is also a new concept. It has become more and more popular day by day on the basis of 2001 census of India. Urban population in India was 28.53. On the basis of 2011 census, the urban population in India became 31.16 and on the basis of an UN study, <coughs> by 2030, the urban population will become 40.76. So urbanization is becoming more and more day by day, more and more popular day by day. So, with the change of time, new concepts are coming up and these new concepts are replacing prevailing concepts and new concepts are found in place of prevailing concepts. Among these new concepts, urbanization is one. Urbanization is becoming more and more popular in, in India on the basis of 2001 census, urban population was 28.53 and on the basis of 2011 census, urban population has become 31.16 and on the basis of an UN study, by the end of 2030, the urban population of India will become 40.76. So, urbanization is moving very fast. So, what is urbanization? 
meaning of urbanization. In simple language, urbanization means when there is a shift of population from rural area to the urban area and there is correspondence decrease in the proportion of people living in rural area. In simple language, urbanization means the flow of people from rural area to urban area and there is corresponding decrease in the population of rural area. It is urbanization. So urbanization means when there will be a shift of population from rural area to urban area and there is corresponding decrease in the proportion of people living in rural area. This is urbanization in simple term. But actually urbanization means it has three important principles. Number one. But appropriately urbanization means it has three ingredients. Number one. In urbanization, in a specific area, there must be at least 5,000 people. Number two. In urbanization, in a square kilometer, there must be at least 400 people. And in urbanization, 75% people do not depend on agriculture. So what is urbanization in simple term? In simple term, urbanization means the migration of people from rural area to urban area. And there is correspondence decrease in the population of rural area. It is simple meaning. But actually globalization means in a specific area, there must be 5,000 people. Number two, in a square kilometer, there must be 400 people. And 75% people of that area do not depend on agriculture. This is what urbanization. Now we'll discuss impacts of urbanization. Effects of urbanization on society. What effects urbanization has on society? Number one, positive effects. It has good sides. So what are its positive effects? Number one, promote living standard of society. Promote living standard of people in society. It promotes living standard of people in society. How? As in urban area, large number of population is found. Automatically industries are established. So automatically people of the urban area get employment and their living standard will be better. The first merit of urbanization is that the first positive effect of urbanization is that there is increase in the standard of living of people because as in urban area more people are staying industries will be established and people will get employment in the industry and they will get good wages by this the standard of living will increase so due to urbanization standard of living of people will increase number two greater availability of jobs as in urban area large number of people are found large number of offices are established and business and trade also grow by this people get jobs the second positive impact of effect of globalization is that as in urban sorry second effect of urbanization is that as in urban area more people are found offices will be established business and trade will grow there which will generate employment and people will get employment so due to urbanization there is a probability of jobs for people number three a less mortality rate as in urban area, better health care is available. So automatically, mortality rate will be less to a large extent. Third impact of positive impact of globalization is the uh, first positive impact of urbanization is that as in urban areas, good medical facilities are available. So the mortality rate, the dying rate of people is reduced. Now four, boost literacy rate. As in urban area, educational facilities are better, so people of that area take advantage of it. So it boosts literacy rate of society. Fourth merit, fourth effect of globalization is that positive effect. Fourth positive effect of urbanization is that in urbanization, educational facilities are better. 
more school and colleges are found so people of the urban area will take advantage of it and literacy rate of that urban area will increase fifth contract with people of different culture locality as in urban area areas at the meeting at the urban area at the meet at the meeting points of people of different locality and their culture so people come in contact with different culture of different people so another positive effect of urbanization is that it promotes culture of the people because in because our urban areas are the meeting points of people of different culture different localities so people come in contact with different people their cultures so it promotes their cultural development it promotes their knowledge also finally development of a good transport system as in urban area population is more automatically a good transport system develops so another positive effect of urbanization is that as in urbanization more people are staying to so to suit them a good transport system will develop automatically so urbanization promotes a good transport system these are the positive effects of globalization now we'll discuss negative effects of globalization Glo sorry now we'll discuss negative effects of urbanization negative effects of urbanization number 1 create housing problem and development of slums rapid inflow of rural people into urban area give rise to housing problem and development of slums the first negative effect of urbanization is that as in urban areas more and more people of rural area will go to urban area it will create housing problem and it gives birth to large number of slums number 2 create health and environmental hazard the increase in population in urban area places pressure on drinking water and sanitation it results in environment pollution and better type of and other type of health hazards in urbanization is more and more people are staying there more and more people of rural area will come to urban area there will be pressure on its drinking water facility and sanitation it results in environmental pollution and other type of health hazards number 3 hamper agriculture production urbanization hampers agricultural production how due to migration of people from rural area to urban area there will be shortage of agricultural workers by this agricultural production is hampered in urbanization more and more people of rural area will come to urban area so agricultural workers will be reduced in rural area by this agricultural production will be hampered now why pressure on law and pressure on law and order system as in urban area more people will stay there will be pressure on law and order system as in urban area more people will stay there so there will be pressure on the law and order system fifth pressure on the education system as in urban area more people will stay there will be there will be heavy pressure on its education system there will be heavy not happy heavy heavy pressure on its education system as in urban area more people will stay there will be pressure on its education system finally pressure on the transport system due to more people in urban area there will be heavy pressure on the transport system as in urban area more people are found there will be pressure on the transport system so in this video we have discussed meaning of urbanization its positive effects and negative effects i request my viewers to watch the whiteboard and to listen me so that this video will be helpful 
and any video you want just write my name dilip korpal and the name of the topic in youtube you will get both odia and english video again happy new year to all my viewers have a nice future